So in today's video, it's time for a new 8-bit Famicom clone system. And I was pretty excited, or I am pretty excited about this thing, because like the title says, this is one of the best portable systems 8-bit I have seen for so far now. And the reason why I'm saying this is something I'm going to show you later on in the video. But first, what are we going to get? The packaging itself, I really like it. The layout is more like this 8-bit system I had in the 80s, 90s, very nice. It comes with Alien Tech, people. Yes, it's from the brand Alien Tech. Nest Pocket, very nice box. So, all right, so let's see what's inside. What's inside, what's inside? All right. It comes with a micro USB, and no, we cannot add games because it's just a charging cable or for the charging internal battery. Wow, this is the deluxe Chinese manual. Ooh, huh. is that in English? Whatever. Wearing this uh, ripcord, and we having here this system itself. All right, so the first thing they're noticing. No chemical plastic, and this thing is quite heavy. So, and there was also something that I just wanted to show you: the touch of the buttons. Serious? If I close my eyes now, and I are you going to tell me, wicked? It's an original NES from Nintendo. I serious would believe you because this thing feels pretty cool. It feels nice. It got a very nice touch. So. It's not rubbery buttons like original controllers, so no, that would be a giveaway. But this, no, it feels nice. It feels very nice. So let's see, what are we having more? The on off switch, we have an AV out, two and a half inch uh, jack cable, volume control, at the bottom we're finding headphone jack, yes, micro USB for charging. This is for putting the ripcord through. And let's see what we have here in the back. Oh, it's more like a combination thing. So we can use this PL5C battery. And if you remove it, you can use normal batteries. Wow, okay. This is something you don't see very often with these cheap devices because this one is more like in the cheap, in the range of the cheap portable system from China with 8-bit games. All right, I am ready. Let's play some games. All right, so the first thing to notice with this thing, the screen itself, it's pretty huge compared with all the other 8-bit clones. And look at the view angle. Wow, it's not bad at all. All right, let's do a closer up view of the screen and we're going to uh, check out what kind of games are on it. So, all right, so the games, it starts very nice, even Kirby Adventure. And no people so far, I know we can't save. So let's put that thing up front. A lot of people are going to ask, can you save? No, you can't. A few lists of games are pretty good. The song doesn't repeat. When you're done with the song, it just stops and you get this zooming sound. Here it comes. There's series. Uh, uh, there is always something they need to mess up, don't they? But right, we don't have this annoying selection screen. Of the language it just starts up the game, so I'm very happy with it. Okay, let's play some games. The evil Kirby is here. <laughs> Ooh, it's a little bit glitching here. That's a bummer. And yes, they have put it on the games on this thing. The, the Metal Slug Advance for NES. We throw, no, we cannot throw a grenade. That's a bummer. You can't? Seriously? No? You can't? <laughs> Alright, Mario Kart. With two characters. Oh, 
Oh yeah! Going almost 300 kilometers per hour. Yeah! Woo! Here I come! You're all pretendo! Coming for you, Luigi! I am number one! <laughs> okay. Ooh, nice turbo button. Oh man, that makes this game way easier. Turbo punching with Batman! Oh, wait for it. Oh crap! What oh, crap! Ah! Oh, I'm always struggling with this guy! Why does he keep coming? Go away! Limo. I can jump on it, cool. Oh, we even can move it. Oh, the Chris Bennett uh, move. That's really cool. To be honest, I can really appreciate this homebrew game. It looks really cool. Okay, we need to hold it. Alright, people, so. This is what we're going to get with the TV out. Keep in mind, I'm using this HD upscaling. Alright people, so for the final conclusion about this Alien Tech Famicom Chinese handheld. So, first, the reason why I think I was most surprised about this was the build quality. It feels for quite heavy, it got a built-in battery, it looks like an NES, so that's really cool. And the buttons, they got so a nice touch. And the game list is pretty decent a lot of good games on it a lot of crazy homebrew games so and of course with a lot of crappy games but nevertheless so if you look at the whole picture i think this is a pretty damn cool product keep in mind this is a budget product so this is more like it'll go around 50 dollars maybe you can buy it for a little bit more money or even cheaper depends a little bit where you can find it this is what you're going to get let me know what you think of this but thank you for watching don't forget to subscribe and hit that little bell